Welcome to Intersect Saudi Arabia 2025 here in Riyadh. Very, very excited to be at another edition of this rapidly growing event. And once again, on the Iris ID stand, where I'm pleased to be here with Mohammed Murad, the Chief Revenue Officer of the organization. Mohammed, thanks for having me here. Well, thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure. It's always yeah, it's a pleasure. Exciting. Uh, yet another intersect, another year. It's good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, look, we've been catching up at these events over the last few years. We know how important Saudi Arabia is to, to not just your organization, but to many other organizations here at Intersec. The Saudi Vision 2030 is key to the advancement of the kingdom. There are many new security and smart infrastructure um, objectives and projects. What is Iris ID doing to align itself and, and to, to play its part in achieving a safer and more secure future as part of the Vision 2030? Well, well, Saudi Vision 2030 fits right into what Iris ID provides. We are, we, we are focusing on di digital identity. Saudi Vision 2030 also focuses on digital transformation, smart city, security, trusted identity. All those applications fits right into the identity authentication uh, solutions that Iris ID provides. We have um, uh, one, we, we are calling it one trusted identity with face with multi biometric and also presentation attack detection combined. We can offer a full dig digitization services to to fulfill their 2030 vision. Wonderful. I mean, the the vision 2030 really is at the core of many discussions here at events like Intersec. Now, the Middle East does come with unique challenges. We're all very aware of that. What are the sort of key challenges that you're having to overcome and, and the sort of requirements around biometric um, auth authentication and technology that, that RSID are encountering? Well, as a contactless contact uh, solution that we provide, um, as a biometric, we need to be aware of the environmental issues, you know, because it's climate is dusty, it's hard, hot. Um, all those things have to be considered when building a product to fit, fit, the, um, uh, fit the environment. The other is we have to worry about the cultural issues. You know, women are wearing hijab and there are other, uh, the garbs that they use the, in the culturally. Uh, our technology is designed to overcome those. So we are, uh, our technology is very poised to fit in culturally, environmentally in, into Middle East. Wonderful. It's really interesting talking about, you know, the, the environmental challenges, but there's also data privacy and cybersecurity concerns. <laughs> that they're advancing very, very quickly. So, so what are you doing to sort of um, adhere to these regulations, both locally and internationally, when it comes to data privacy and, and cybersecurity? See, privacy is built, built into our product line, okay? And security is built into our product line. We provide security on a, on a device. We have multi-level of communication encryption between the device and, and the back end. Uh, plus, we comply to all the GDP, GDPR positions uh, that require us to make sure that the data is not uh, is encrypted and it's secure. And we require and we take, get consent from the customers uh, to make sure the data is not used for other purposes than it is it is required for just for identity. Um, additionally, we offer um, um, you know ISO standards. So, and then the other part is, part of security is we offer, um, the t once the template is generated as part of security and privacy, we can never revert it back to image, okay? It, it will always remain a template. So there is, you cannot tell by the template who that is. With an image, you can. So that's why some other biometrics may have a challenge. Iris doesn't have that challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, like you say, iris recognition is seen as one of the most secure forms of, of, of biometric authentication. Can you, can you talk about a recent example or, or project that you've worked on where there's really been concrete evidence of that? Well, um, as you know, regionally, we are present in many borders, you know, in, in UAE and Qatar and other places. So our technology is, um, has proven that iris recognition security, accuracy, and convenience 
really fits the region and globally on border applications and other uh, high throughput applications. Uh, so, um, and in the recent advancements that we have made in the technology by incorporating face and iris together, so you will be, we are able to take both images of face and iris to simultaneously with from a, at the same distance. We provide, we, we are taking the most convenience biomet convenient biometric, which is face, and the most accurate biometric, which is iris. We're combining them together to be able to deliver a very secure and very convenient solution. Wonderful. I mean, it's very clear that everything that you're talking about during this interview, we can see here on the stand, and I know you're going to be showcasing that a lot this week. Now, I mean, behind us, we've got some of your customers and partners' logos. How is Iris um, recognition easily integrating with other technologies like access control and time attendance? Well, um, as you can see, we have some major corporations using our technology today for both both applications that you mentioned for access control and time and attendance. We built a product so it is very convenient, easy to integrate in, in major access control applications. We have partners like Honeywell, which is Honeywell Linnell, Software House, JCI, and others who take our product and integrate into their solution. Then we on the time and attendance side, we're tightly integrated with Paychex, ADP, um, UKG. Um, so by providing open interfaces, we allow our partners to be able to integrate our application to their solutions. Mohammed, now focusing on, on Saudi Arabia the, as a region, what are the markets? You know, you've spoken about your customers and the projects you've worked on. What are the markets are you really excited to see iris recognition technology be adapted into? Um, well, I, I believe in next few years, we will see iris recognition or in general other biometrics to be part of everyday life of a Saudi citizen and a resident by having the government be able to identify them and provide services. We are very excited to be part of their critical infrastructure for the smart cities and other mega projects. So we see a great fit of our technology into their streamlining into their applications. Wonderful. And, you know, you've spoken about the exciting projects coming ahead there. We've spoken about the Vision 2030. What about Iris ID, Mohammed? What about yourself? What are you excited about for Iris ID in 2026 and beyond? Well, we see, you will see a lot of exciting things coming out of Iris ID in the next few years. Um, we are very excited and putting a lot of energy in cloud-based solutions. Very secure a regionally focused cloud-based solution will be able to use our technology anywhere on the Internet of Things, um, where you will see a lot more uh, presentation attack de detection improvements in our technology. Um, we are going to make a big emphasis on convenience usage. So you will see our technology to be able to adapt in many different applications from airports, border crossings, healthcare, financial sector, major data center access control. So you'll see the technology adoption in the region and globally in many of those applications. It's really an exciting time, isn't it? You know, we've been meeting at Intersect Saudi Arabia, Intersect Dubai for the last few years, and I've seen your growth here in this region as the region grows at a rapid rate, Mohammed. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you know, these new, de new developments, new deployments, new technologies. Uh, and it really is a, an easily adaptable and highly functionable, secure, cyber secure um, and resilient technology that Mohammed and his team are developing here at RSID. So look, once again, thank you very much for having me here on the stand. You're welcome. I'm excited to see what's in the future for you. Yeah, it's excited to be here. We are very excited about the of the prospect of Middle East for IRS ID. Wonderful. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you.